Welcome. In front of me is a BQ Aquarius X2 Pro and today I'll show you how to go to the setup process of the device. So when you first get this phone and you boot it up, you'll be presented with the welcome screen as it is visible right here. And you can start off by choosing your language by tapping on the drop down. And here we have a list of all the languages that are accessible. Now I'm going to stick with English, so let's just tap on cancel. And let's start. Then the uh, second thing you will see is the insert SIM card. Now this is fully optional, you can skip this. It, the only thing it will allow you to do uh, is well, connect your SIM card and you won't have to connect to Wi-Fi or well, you don't even need to connect to Wi-Fi, but um, this can be done at any time. Uh, throughout the setup, after setup, it doesn't actually matter at all. So I'm just gonna skip this right now. There we go. That's weird. Okay, there we go. So now there's the Wi-Fi. So this is also optional. You can connect or not. As you can see, there's a skip button if you wish to skip it. Um, this will allow you to connect to a Google account later on uh, throughout the setup. Uh, without actually logging in, you won't be able to. So it's all really a personal preference. I'm going to skip this just to save on time because if I would connect, it also starts looking for update uh, and this will take a little bit long. So, then you have date and time, and now it's set to usually detect it automatically, although not in this case. So it would detect it actually when you would connect to Wi-Fi or put in a SIM card. So here you can choose your time. For instance, right now for me it's 11.30, so let's just boom, 11.30, there we go. And uh, January, February, what is it, like sixth fifth something like that i think it's good enough as an example so there we go no not the year though uh, it's 2020 there we go now it's good and let's stop on next then you have google services now you can read each one of them and see if you want it on or not um so you can just flip it on or off like so and then you can tap on allow or accept and then the next thing you will see is the fingerprint setup. Now, right here it asks you to set up a fingerprint, but by choosing this you also have to set up any uh, kind of other way of unlocking the device. You will have a choice between uh, pin pattern or password before you can actually put in a fingerprint. I'm just going to set it up as an example. So there it is, uh, fingerprint plus pattern, pin or password. So choose whichever one you want. I'm going to go with pattern. Sure. And then draw the pattern that you wish to use, tap on next, and then we draw the same pattern once more. And then we get to scan our finger on the sensor, which is located on the back, just so you know. There's this gigantic circle right here. So let's just start tapping away on it. Now, when you're scanning your finger, you want to get a good read of your entire finger from like middle to outer edges of it. I'm just doing it quickly, so I'm scanning only the middle of it, just to pass it really quick. And there we go. So now if I were to lock the device also, it will have a pattern to unlock or a fingerprint. There we go. And that is how you would set up your device. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.